Hey guys, this is Basinger313 here, this time not being joined by Dan because I actually want to make this a little bit of a surprise episode for him too. Uh, so the recent DLC Stormy Ascent, which is currently free right now, by the, uh, at least at the time I'm recording this, I'm not sure if it's going to be free by the time this video actually uploads and pu uh, publishes. Apologize for the misinformation. But uh, yeah, this is going to be the Stormy Ascent episode and I get the feeling it is going to be very, very long. Now before I do anything else... Uh, last two days ago, you may notice that, um, we, I believe, uh, we finished the game, we beat the final boss, but, um, after the fact, I've been trying to go back to get as much, um, jewels as possible, I didn't get one for that one, as you can tell. The same thing goes for the, um, what you call it, the relics, as well. So, I've been, my best to do most of them. Of course, I didn't get everything just yet. Uh, mostly because, okay, so, you notice how, like, these are colored gems as well, right? I've gotten every single colored gem except for one, and I get the feeling you guys, just from that context alone, understand which one it is. Slippery Climb. And yeah, this is the one relic that I've, uh, sorry, not the relic, the one gem that I have not done yet in order to 100%. So, clearly, now that since I have not actually completed that, uh, level complete to the its finest yet clearly i am the best pursuit <laughs> into getting into the stormy ascent playthrough this is gonna be painful <laughs> i've heard that this game is <laughs> oh my god even the hint is trying to tell us that this is gonna be a hard as hell st stage i am okay how many lives do i have exactly okay so yeah i did get the achievement for 99 lives but uh <sighs> Oh god. Um, by the way, I'm playing as Coco, but um, I even though like there's absolutely no difference between the two, for some reason I just feel like Coco is like my lucky uh, charm for some reason. I managed to get a lot more uh, completion playing as Coco, and I seem to perform a lot better as Coco as a result, so... I don't know, I'm playing as Coco. No, it, I, it could just be like a mentality thing, I'm not sure exactly why, but um... That's how, that's how I feel. That's why I'm playing Coco. You guys might have the same thing similar as well. And, uh, play as Crash as your good luck charm. Oh, shit. Alright. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, fuck. Oh, god, that timing is strict. <laughs> Alright, I can already tell. Thankfully, this doesn't seem like a death trap yet. God, okay. Alright. So far, so good. No, no, that's bad. Okay. Okay, yeah. That was really risky of me to do. That was also very risky of me to do as well, damn it. I already lost Toko Toko. I mean, not Toko Toko. Aku Aku. Why did I say Toko Toko for some reason? Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. So, this is gonna be the entire episode. And it's just gonna be a little bit of an experiment as to how many lives I've wasted just beating this level alone. I didn't really prepare ahead of time, honestly. I just naturally, I just naturally came across these 99 lives, so it's not really, um... Uh, I didn't really actually grind for them. I just happened to get them while trying to complete all the... Alright, I think I got the... Oh, I almost got the time for that. Okay, no, that's too late. One, two, three! I hesitated a little bit. Don't hesitate, just go for it, alright. One, two, three. Just barely. Yeah, it'd be like milliseconds in order to, like... God, imagine trying to platinum rank this thing. Jesus Christ. Alright, there's a hand there, that's fine. Attack it. This one doesn't seem that bad. One, two, three, go. I'm a little scared, honestly. Oh god, oh god, okay. It's a good thing this purple scientist is actually uh, one of the easiest enemies you can fight. They always have the same patterns. They uh, they throw their purple potions onto like a specific area. So it's not necessarily um, that hard to like try and figure out. You are trolling motherfuckers! Oh my god! You put a crate there that's jumpable. 
Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. Is there any checkpoints in this level? Jesus Christ, if there's no checkpoints. Oh my god, I, we haven't gotten a single checkpoint just yet, and at the same time... The other level that was a precursor to Stormy Ascent. Oh, okay, there's a checkpoint. Thank god. Okay. Thank god this is not one of those, like, uh... Levels where you had to not... And get the gems unlike... The one with the red gems. That was too soon. Okay. Now. That was a little bit too- OH MY GOD IT'S- <gasps> Oh my god, is that bridge? Okay. I don't know how exactly I lived there. I'm not even sure how I only lost one life so far. I get the feeling I could've lost way more. But, uh... Also, there's a Brio token, I just realized. Okay. These birds, even like in the original levels, they're not as hard to um, deal with, so... I think you'll be fine in that regards. I'm a little bit scared going there. Those retractable stairs. <laughs> Alright, how about now? Okay. Um I'm just gonna wait a little bit. That might be the wrong okay, never mind. Oh, oh, oh you gotta be kidding me. Go. No no no! Damn it. That's fine. At least it's a white gem instead of a color gem. Whoa! Okay, that was close. Oh Jesus Christ! Christ, okay. Alright, at least I'm not dying yet. Even though I have to backtrack a little bit. Oh my god, does the bird not respawn? Okay, the bird respawned, thank god. Oh my god, that's a very tiny, like, boost. I even helped the X-Button that time, too. The day before our actual recording session for Crash Bandicoot 2. So, um... And in case anyone's wondering, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna try my best not to, uh... Reveal much of information, so whenever I say, oh, I haven't played Sword Me Ascent yet, I'm actually lying. It's gonna be a little bit of a surprise, and... Yeah. Because, um, our original plan was just to just go to, uh... Each three games and, um... Play through them, but, uh... I kinda wanna leave a little bit of a surprise, and to... Watch as well. Okay. By the way, um... Dan also did his own playthrough of Sword Me Ascent. Uh, however, I don't think he has commentary. I'll link that into the description below if you guys will want to see how he does this. To be fair, I think he might have uh, played it ahead of time from the original PlayStation 1. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, Dan. So, um, But, uh, yeah, he does that, and I believe he, uh, just judging from the timestamp, or the time duration of the video, it's at 13 minutes, he's gonna be a lot better than I am. Oh, that's a close one. So, um, okay, another Brio. Alright. Yeah, he's gonna be a lot better than I am in terms of gameplay. Oh! Oh, uh, no, 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 oh, fuck. I even had goddamn, uh... What's his face again? Aku Aku as well. I gotta stop forgetting his name. He's like one of the most integral characters in the Crash Bandicoot series, I believe. And I think I lost him now. That's unfortunate. That, unless it's in the uh, next area. Alright. Okay, yeah, those retractable stairs scare the fuck out of me. No, don't rush it, don't rush it, don't rush it. Now. Now! No! Oh, I touched him and I died. Alright. This is where it gets really challenging here. Oh, okay. So yeah, I am actually trying to go for a 100% completionist for this game. It's a very fun game, and I feel like it's definitely one of those that actually motivates you to do such a thing. Damn it. So, uh, yeah, I'm getting close. I get the feeling I'm also gonna do 100%, uh, 102% now that, uh, the stage is open. I think that's how it works, right? Oh my god. I think I could jump over that yonder, but I didn't want to risk it, so um, I feel like waiting is the best option, honestly. And it like, unless 
Unless you're doing a time relic. Which, if you are, you're gonna be a goddamn sadist for doing so. But unless you're doing that... Then I suggest waiting for the next jump instead of rushing towards it. Be very careful with your platforming. Otherwise, you'll be... Oh no! Just like that. Okay, maybe I shouldn't rush that area too. Oh no. Oh my god, how did I live that? Uh, thank you, Aku Aku. Okay, here we go. Give me have questions. And Aku Aku again, so again, extra hit. Damn it! Mm. Alright, hold down the X button. I need to jump a little bit further in that time. Yeah, the platform is very precise when it comes to, um, this game. I honestly don't have plans to, uh, play the original, but... <laughs> but I get the feeling it's a shit ton harder because of its, uh, punishment. Like, for every level, I believe you actually have to not die in order to break all the crates. This one's a lot more lenient. And I do think that's a good improvement. Like... Just having the knowledge of that, I feel... ...too careful in that way. I'm sorry if I'm not commentating very stiffly. I'm really worried. Okay, after this next... yeah, now. Right. I know we got two extra hits. I think now's a good time. No! Okay, so once it actually comes back instead of on its way back. I think that's a good time for me to, um, jump over to that platform. Yeah, because of how big the bird's hitbox is, th that's, yeah, you really don't have to worry about the, uh, platform against the birds. That's easy, that's the easiest part about Stormy Ascent, in my opinion. And even the, I'm sorry if I keep forgetting the previous level, what's called. Oh, no! Okay, let's go. Okay. What the fuck? Oh my god, you tricky little dingus. This is... Uh, 88 lives, oh my god, I swear to god. If it requires me to get more than 899 lives just to beat this level, I'm gonna freak the fuck out. Oh no. What we That platform is actually, even though it looks really fast, it's surprisingly easy to jump to. I feel like the slower ones that kind of like mistimes everything are the ones that you really have to look out for. Because when it comes to the fast ones, it's like, oh, okay, it's a little bit tricky, yeah, visually. But like, once you do it and get the rhythm to it, it's actually not that bad. Oh, hey, another checkpoint, okay. Guess the game's deciding to be a little bit more uh, forgiving this time. Alright, so don't jump the gun on this one. Wait and s wait. Maybe now? Okay. Oh! Oh! Right! That- okay! So, uh, I, it's an impulse thing, sorry. I need to make sure I jump immediately after that, otherwise I'll get hit by the top of my head from that platform. And that's the wrong timing. 15 lives already. Well, technically 14. It's actually starting with 99, not 100. Now it's 15 lives! God. By the way, both trophies for the hidden treasures are both... ...hidden. Or lost treasures, I mean. They're both hidden, so... I'm gonna make an assumption that one of them... ...you get by- Oh my god, there's also that platform! Oh my god! <laughs> one of them you get just simply beating the game. And one of the other ones you get for getting a gold relic. I'm saying gold because all the trophies pertaining to this game has to do with gold relics and not platinum relics. So um, that's very forgiving for um, the game developers for if you wanted to get 100% completion. Two 
to get 100% completionist for uh, this game. Or for, yeah, this uh, DLC piece. Bam. 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 Okay. That was a little bit tricky, but uh, as long as you visualize it, it's actually not the bad bank. 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 Okay. Alright. Thank god we saw that a little bit of a purple splash. Because I'm in this platform, I'm... Bank. Bank. Dun, bun, dun, dun, bun, dun, dun, bun, dun, dun, bun, dun, dun, die. Alright. Right, there's nothing here, it seems like. Oh my god, there's like hidden boxes inside there. I'm gonna be pissed. Alright. Looks like we're going descent. <laughs> you better call this stormy descent because we're not ascending to anything. Those are some tricky little uh, spikes as well. Don't worry. Hey, I got an extra life! Yay! Oh, yeah. I do have Aku Aku, so in case I do get hit by one of these things, I should be fine. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you, Aku Aku. Lifesaver. Oh god, that's a very long platform. Oh, Jesus. They're both moving the same rate. Okay. Oh. Okay, please tell me this is a free one. Yeah, it's a free one. Okay, we get an extra Brio uh, stage level. You're gonna need it. Wait a minute. Wait a fucking minute. Wait a minute. If I hit this thing, then that means it's impossible. What? Yeah, if I hit that, then it's... Possible. Unless that's the one where you, I need to. I'm game? I'm confused. I'm confused. Why is there an exclamation mark there? That has to be for something else. Either that or if it's really for that white box. Okay, let's not break anything just yet. Um. Oh, fuck. Okay, that's, that is for the, uh, okay, so yeah, that TNT, the ones that's next to the exclamation mark, that's for the, uh, white box, so this other exclamation mark has to be for something else. It seems like the, it's a very tricky time here. Okay, two, one, go! Oh my god, the timing is very strict. Got my bubble juice just in case I need some preparation. Okay. Wait a minute. What is that? No, no, I never mind. I'll still be able to get back. I was a little bit worried if uh, it's impossible for me to get that first box in the game. Oh man, I did it. But. Oh, oh, oh! Oh my god, that box! Okay, so I had to break that box specifically. Otherwise. I, it's impossible for me to get it, and that box for some reason just doesn't fall down. Okay, okay. You trolly lingo bastards. Like, imagine playing this in the original game, not dying. Jesus Christ, this game's horrible. <laughs> that is fucking milliseconds of perfection right there. Oh my god, how are you going to do this? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. okay. I did something. Oh my god, that's really big. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. There's also TNT there, so it seems like I have to land there no matter what. Uh, that's gonna suck. It's a good thing this doesn't count for my uh, lost lives or anything. And furthermore, one. It doesn't look like that's pertaining to anything. Oh! F oh, fuck. <laughs> I got. Okay, so yeah, the bottom one breaks. Oh my god.
All right, I'm ready. One, two, three, four, five. That breaks. There is a there, but uh... okay. I had to break that first, and then I can easily break those two boxes with that TNT and activate the. Uh... There we go. Okay. Next up. One. What? Actually, no, I have an idea. If that breaks, then I'm gonna have to immediately go to the right area. One. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I know getting all the boxes just pertains to another- just means you get another gem, but I kinda want that gem. <laughs> I was about to say I need some warm glovers, uh, uh, warming gloves, or heat warmers, and then I just realized how fucking hot it is outside right now. Oh god, no. Okay, I think that. One, two, three, four, five. Oh crap. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. I can't tell if that's gonna be a white one or a black box. Oh, God, yeah, it's, it's a actual box. It says, oh wait, hold on, 11 out of 22, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Wait, that can't be right, I'm doing my math wrong. 22 minus 16. That would mean... Okay, so 20 minus 14. That would mean I have... I know, that has to be an even number. Does that mean I have six boxes left to break? Mm. Mm. Oh my god, how do you f reach that? Great damn it. You know, I have another uh, way to uh, dealing with that. Those apples are not worth it whatsoever, so I'm just gonna break it... ...completely. Or at least the best as I can. Right, the edge sometimes gets tricky to do. Fucking biscuits. Son of a dog, biscuits. Ah, damn it. I think I have to be like very close to the edge in order to jump that gap. Oh no. I was about to fall down for a second, I felt. Hmm. Okay. So I heard that when the TNT goes off, when it's one second left, it goes one, two, three, four. And thank God for my musical expertise when I'm ever, whenever I'm doing this. Oh wait, one. No, no! Oh my God. Okay, so if I, as soon as I jump again, I'm fucked. How did I stop? I think I just spin right. Oh my God. Anyways, yeah, because of my musical uh, teachings, because I uh, learned in four by scale, I'm able to learn the timing for um. That as well. So, lesson learned, kids. No! <sighs> Damn it, okay. I think I might be just able to, like, break it and then hold the X button and hit four, four more. Ah, four more boxes. After that, I think it should be good. Okay. 
That was too soon. Oh, never mind. That was actually barely too soon. Okay. So, actually, no. I think I had to get one box open just so that I could jump over, right? So, I can't break that box. And I'm always guaranteed to break the bottom box first, I believe. So, once that happens, I just jump away. One, two, three, four, go! Alright, yeah. Thank you, music class. Alright. Two, three, four. Oh, fuck. I think I... Oh, damn it. Mm. Never mind. So I'm actually guaranteed to break the top one first, it feels like. Yeah, because I don't think I can make that gap, can I? So, I need to make sure I don't break one of- okay, so, I jump, then jump again, then break that, uh, apple box instead of, um, yeah, it's gonna be my plan. I almost got this. One, two, three, four, go! No! Ooh, that's a close one. I- Uh screwed up. I didn't, thank god. Alright. Exclamation mark, come on. Alright, the box is there. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, six. Okay, so yeah, that's good enough for uh, the completion of this box trial, right? I just need to make sure I don't... Okay, there we go. Oh my god, there's also another TNT there too. Wait, 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 what? Is there a box up there? Okay, yeah, there was some sort of box up there. <sighs> that was a close one. I got all the boxes, 22 in that bonus room. Thank god it's only Brio. And mom just interrupted me during- mm, I locked the door for a reason. Why, mommy? Thank you for the coconut juice, but I already got milk tea. Oh, uh, okay, whatever. So, I, I don't know how many deaths I concurred from that, this round, because... In all due honesty, I've gained a lot of lives, so... It's a little bit hard for me to decipher how many lives I've lost specifically. Oh well. OH MY GOD, THAT'S A SPIKE! OH MY GOD, I JUST realized that. Okay. This box is safe. I mean, platform is safe. Why did I call that a box? <laughs> There's something over there. There's nothing over here. What's the point of this area? Unless it's for a checkpoint whenever I die continuously. That's my only guess. What's up here? Alright. Up there is safe. There's some, uh... Rotating platforms. Uh... Oh, okay. Bum. Go. Go! Okay. Now. Now. Go. Go. I'm safe. Oh, that takes a long, more longer. Two, three, four... Mm, okay, let me, let me try to get the beat down. One, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I figured. I know it looked like I hesitated a little bit, though, but... Honestly, I don't think I was about to make it anyways, because of that, so... Not only that, but I also got stuck between, like, the fourth and the... I forgot that thing existed. As long as I'm in either the second or third, and not in between those, I should be fine. Alright. Alright. This platform's safe. I need to hold down the jump button a lot longer than needed. Okay. game really tests you out to your skills. I like it. Whenever you mess up, it's entirely your fault. It's not like up to chance whether or not... There's some levels where I do it... Like, I think one of the lab stages where the timing for, um... 
I, I can't tell exactly what stage it is because I don't know every single stage by uh, memory. But uh, I do remember there's this lab stage where the timing, for some reason, just completely randomized each playthrough. So sometimes you just have bad luck in the timing between um, whether the pitfall, like this uh, sliding area, uh, detracts or enables while the electric area. Okay, that, I'm. Shut up now because I feel like it's gonna be too confusing for you guys to say it. But for the most part, I do like this game for its sheer <laughs> skillfulness. Okay, got it. It's a very skill worthy game that I suggest you guys definitely try out. Okay, I thought that platform might have screwed me up a little bit, but. Oh my god. Oh, that platform. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'll just wait. I'll just wait. I'll be patient. I'm a patient boy. Oh my god. No. Oh, okay. God, it's one of those platforms. The fact that that uh, elevator activates to whether or not you're going to make it or not, sometimes you're just going to have bad luck and the platform's not going to be in completely in tune to um, the detracting stairs. Okay, yeah. The second platform is easy. easily your best friend, if you can manage to get over there. I mean, okay, got six boxes left. Hopefully I don't lose all of them. Oh no! Oh my god! Oh, how did I do that? <laughs> I thought I got the time completely wrong, but I got really lucky. Alright. Alright, there's a bird enemy. Simple and clean. Oh god, the bird enemy combined with the platforms. <gasps> He little devils, you. Okay, that platform was a lot more easier than I thought it would be. I don't know why, I just assume everything's hard in this game! Okay, right. I really shouldn't have wor to worry about the birds at all. Their hitboxes are honestly really, really stupidly easy. How the fuck do I... Exactly at the same time, if that's the case, how the hell do you... Oh, God. If that's the case, how the hell do you kill them? Yeah, it feels like- oh my god. Wait a minute, I think I might be able to make that jump. Hold on. When he's far away. Okay, that's how. Oh my god. Wait, what? It's a 2-2-1, two, two, not a 1-2-1. One, one. Bunt, bunt, bunt. I have to be suspended in the air in order to jump over that? Fuck. All right, now. Okay, and then jump! Oh my god! Holy fuck. Oh my god. Oh wow, this looks like a my fuckery. Does that- wait a minute. What the fuck's the point of that middle section? Was that to trick me? Okay, okay, birds. Two birds this time. Big hitbox? Okay. I guess that's the exception to the bird uh, bird academia. Oh god oh no, I'm back here. There's no checkpoint nearby. Alright. Now. Yeah, I'm way high enough. The bird's long enough to reach so that I could actually reach it while jumping over instead of waiting for it to come close. Shit. I think I might have held down a little bit too much. So that's why I fell down. I need to make sure like I'm kinda like hugging the wall a little bit whenever I platform it. Even though this is looks like a 2D area, you can tell there's a little bit of 3D there, which could make it hard for you to do things. Oh my god, that timing! Jesus! Whenever the, that doctor uh, throws the potion, it just seems like no matter what, even if you go as fast as POSSIBLE, it's going to miss anyways. So, here, I'll try that right now. Never mind. <laughs> I was wrong. So, get the apple, and then you go. And then, yeah. This is throwing you so far away, you're not gonna even get hit even 
while you're platforming at the same time, so you don't have to worry about that at all. Alright. So yeah, even though the bird's hitbox is pretty big, that last area where there's multiple birds going side to side in opposite directions can still fuck you up a little bit. Oh my god, what is that timing? I think I have to be a little bit delayed. That's my guess, at least. Yeah, I don't, I don't think you even could jump high enough so that the purple potion could even attack you. Damn it. Holy fuck, it's been 35 minutes. How the hell did Dan finish this in 13? Did that some practice beforehand, or what? I can't tell. Okay. I still got Aku Aku on my side. So even if I do get hit, I should be fine. I might not need it, but I don't want to jinx myself. <laughs> platform. Oh. And now. I think I had to delay my jump a little bit. Either that or like when the thing comes completely in. Yeah, I had to like jump at the complete end as to where it is. Also, how the fuck am I still alive? Wait a minute. Never mind. <laughs> I thought I could maybe jump up and then like platform my way back. Doesn't seem like it works that way. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, crap. Yeah, I don't think even Aku Aku could help me because I'm too far down to those spiky areas. So I can't, there's no way I can recover. And now. Here we go. Oh my god. Okay, I did it. Alright. This one's a tricky son of a bitch. <laughs> that middle platform, I feel like you're just... There's no point in doing that because maybe you can get faster when you do that, but... Okay. What the fuck? After the birds platforming, they're all right there, so... That has to be the end area. Yeah, you have to delay your jump a little bit so that your uh, your entire body is still at the edge of that. It's not completely um, inside, but like at the edge of the inside, and then you jump over. That's my uh, tip for you guys if you can understand my gibberish. Uh. Okay, this is Aku Aku's a little bit of a troll here, because I feel like what the hell. Oh my god, the timing is a little bit different now. What the hell? God, there's no way. Holy fuck, I'm close to the end! Okay, after I get to that bird platforming, I'm done with this fucking level. Uh, god goes a little bit of a troll in this level because he, uh, if you get the uh, power of invincibility, it actually hurts you because you don't have the. Okay, whoopsies. If you're invincible, you won't be able to platform to these birds. Avoiding him is a necessity! Damn it. Although, it helps with, like, granting extra hits, but aside from that... Don't go for the invincibility, only go for him as, like, an extra hitbox. Jesus, yeah, that hit- the hitbox on the birds? They're huge, so I don't think you really have to worry about dropping off or anything. The scientist does have a good throwing arm, I have to admit, but unfortunately... He can't aim for shit, so... This is always the hardest platform in my opinion. I feel like, and the fact that this is close to the end also boggles me. Oh my god, okay. I did it. Alright, here we go. This is the last section that I need to pass. Let's try it. Let's try and make it so that the bird's actually close up. And then platform away over. 
That's... Okay, maybe in the middle. Middle, I think that's how I'm able to, like, platform my way over. If not, then I really don't know the timing for that at all. I feel like I could have actually made it that time, but I, I just wanted it to be safe, just in case. Oh no! Oh man, I got too greedy. Sorry. 68. I'm halfway done. If I somehow lose all these lives, this will be horrible. What do I do? Oh, damn, okay. That's fine, that's fine. I'll just wait till the bird respawns. It should be fine. Now, if the bird respawns in a different... Uh... Pathway... I'm fucked. Okay, good. It's almost the exact same. It's not exactly the same, but it's good enough so that I could get my timing back. Yeah, I noticed your entire body doesn't even move when um the platform like shoves into, so you don't like go into the wall when, yeah. So you just kind of stay in place. I don't think I have to worry about that at all. All right, here we go. So let's try the middle section to see if that works. That's still close to the end, but... And then... Yeah! Bam! Got this thing! Oh my god, for a second I thought I was about to spin the gem. That would be horrible to do. Oh. Holy shit. Does that count for my percentage or not? It- oh my god, it does count for my percentage. Holy crap. So, technically, I could kind of say I 100% it if I get two more gems. I don't know, but, you know, that's gonna be cheating. I could definitely do 102% if I really, really try now, so... I'm gonna go for it. Not in this recording session, it's probably gonna be on my own time. But, yeah, that, that was fun. Feeling that's gonna be a little bit tougher. Wait, let me look at the leaderboards. Okay. Ghost Lucifer, you Jesus Christ, you are the man. You deserve a reward, unless someone beats you to it in that case. These guys still deserve some rewards too. Gosma, Swajisia, Splaviv, Habib. I don't know most of these people, they're not my friends or anything. Four minutes and 30 seconds for the gold one. Three minutes and 10 seconds for platinum. Jesus Christ, how the hell can anyone do this? You guys are incredible if you guys manage to do such a thing. I'm gonna save here. Actually, I uh, disabled um, auto saving. This save file is the, the save file below me. This is uh, my niece. She also wants to play this game. It's really hard for her, so it's gonna take a while, but eh, it was. Fun DLC, and if you guys get it, definitely go for it. You guys might have to pay, but like, I'd say it's worth it just for that one. Well, maybe three bucks is not necessarily worth it, but if you guys really love a challenge, I, I feel like it might be worth it. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in Crash 2 next two days from now. This is Basing Your signing off. Thanks for watching.